some rude naughty things <laughs> but he didn't mean them <laughs> I'm a bunny <laughs> that means I'm cute <laughs> I would never say rude naughty things and any show that has a bunny on it shouldn't get fined by the FCC <laughs> One who complains about profanity on a show with a bunny on it is a member of Al Qaeda. <laughs> Good night. Pa pa pa. Pa 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 pa. Hello. I'm a cute. People often say to me, you remind us of David Beckham. <laughs> and I say... <laughs> See, <clears throat> there's a popular myth that goes around that, you know, bunny rabbits, whilst cute, have no idea how to cuss. <laughs> Let me assure you that this is an erroneous impression. <laughs> and actually, we do know how to cuss. We're <laughs> automatic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, I know what you're going to say. I actually do, I'm psychic. <laughs> you dirty bastards. <laughs> You want me to show you my little bunny rabbit bottom? <laughs> my answer to you is <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know that it's true though? Bunny rabbits, we have got lovely little fluffy bottoms. <laughs> we do. That's why people often mistake us for Danny DeVito. <laughs> Peter has a lovely, fluffy, little, <coughs> fun, lovely bottom. <laughs> he has, which made it very difficult for him in the 1980s. <laughs> because people used to like to snort cocaine off of, <laughs> off of other people's bottoms. <laughs> in the 90s. Oh, yeah, everybody <laughs> did it in the 80s. Yeah. Well, that, the problem was the cocaine would get lost in the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone too far. <laughs> I've gone too far, haven't I? Well, the thing to remember is this. If you think I've gone too far, you can go <laughs> yourself. How's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, are you all right? Is that all right with you? Because if it's not, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> How's the sense of lady doing all right? Is all right? <laughs> Do you know they've got a robot on this show? Do you know what that says to me? That's not much. <laughs> Anyway, I have to go and, uh, you know, go and do something. I have to pose for a birthday card. <laughs> hey, hey! It's a <laughs> job, all right! <laughs> See you later, everybody. Bye! Pa, 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 pa. Because on last night's show, I said a few words which apparently are illegal. <laughs> but I didn't know they were illegal, because I'm a just a poor little bunny rabbit. <laughs> and I didn't know, for example, there were words that you weren't allowed to say. <laughs> Old German words. <laughs> German words that are sort of slang for human copulation. 
You know, you know the word I mean, right? That word, well, I said it a lot. And I got chased around by the snitcher. I know they're such <laughs> bastards. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> you see, I know you probably... They don't want you to know this, but the FCC don't like bunnies. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I can tell you're shocked. I was too. <laughs> <laughs> I know, thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> FCC hate people who swear, even little buddies like me. <laughs> but don't worry, because I thought it through and I've decided that they can go <laughs> themselves. <laughs> I'd just like to say that CBS in no way endorses the use of profanity or rude words at any point. <laughs> and in no way encourages... Oh, I can't read this. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I was having my ear pushed forward. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> hey, wasn't it a great show? I like Evangeline Lilly. You know, when I watched the end of Lost, I thought, what the Ooh la la. was that? <laughs> What, five years watching this? <laughs> and this is what I get? It's like the writers came round to my house and took a dump on me. <laughs> I mean, what the hell was that? It was like at the end of The Sopranos. You remember the end of The Sopranos? It was in that restaurant, and then they played, Don't Stop Believing! And then it just went black, and I was like, what the oh. f*** is this? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even like Journey. <laughs> I mean, okay, I like sticks a little bit. <laughs> I'm okay with Blue Oyster Cult, but, but Journey? <laughs> I mean... What's that coming to go? <laughs> so, here's my thing anyway. I, I had a great time tonight. And I know some people think, they say to me, um, they say my name to me, which is a secret. <laughs> they say my name and then they say, hey, w w should you be around that show? Because they have a crocodile alligator -y type thing on that show and he would eat you. And I say, he can I can try. <laughs> That's right, that's right, I, you know, because, you know, people think because I'm cute, I can't Tootsie fruits. them up. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's where you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, so, are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Well, there's nobody else here. You talking to me? You talking to me? See, that's what I'm like when I'm mad. But I'm not mad, I'm a cool <laughs> Don't you patronize me, bitch. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a nice weekend. And let me tell you this. Be nice. <laughs> Wait. To each other. And to yourself. And to... Insects <laughs> and two. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> oh, 
and one more thing. My name is a secret. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. <laughs> I've been writing into the show because I was on last week and they were saying, what's your name, little bunny that cusses all the time? <laughs> I, don't, I don't cuss all the time. So, what's that coming to go? I mean, what's the deal? I'm not allowed to cuss because I've, cause I'm cute. Well, that's just uh -oh. discrimination. <laughs> what? It's only ugly people are out of cuss. Make a number. I oh, like cussing. Cussing's my thing. I come from a long line of cussing bunnies. <laughs> my father liked to cuss. Oh, he Tutsi Frutsi. Loved it. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know who else likes to cuss? Um, mice. <laughs> You'd cuss if you was a mouse too, because there's all these creatures trying to eat you. That's why bunnies cuss too, because there's always like, oh, ow, oh, or a What's that coming, I go? Lion or something, <laughs> always trying to eat you. Ooh, la, la. French people, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a uh -oh. nightmare. <laughs> Everywhere you go, someone look at you like you've got no skin on. <laughs> I'm, I'm skinning you with their eyes. <laughs> It's like, it's like you, it's like you're the first person that people see in a horror movie all the time. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When the, the nice looking girl is like walking around the kitchen all humming music to herself and wearing a little tight costume. Yeah. I got a Oh yeah, all up. Oh, then, then, then the killer comes out. That's what it's like being a bunny all the time. Tootsie Time! <laughs> So consequently, anyway, I was going to tell you what my name was. Um, and here it is. Are you ready? Ba -ba -da -ba! Sid. <laughs> yeah, that's my name, Sid. Don't, don't -la -la. wear it out. All right. <laughs> and people say to me, where's your accent from, Sid? I'll tell you, North London. <laughs> and now a lot of people are surprised to hear that. <laughs> Because people were expecting me to come from a more rural environment. <laughs> North London's a fairly urban conurbation. And I appreciate your concern, but my family moved to North London from the country uh -oh. years ago now. <laughs> anyway, the upshot is you know my name. My name is Sid. I'm a bunny. I like to cuss. And I say I can the haters. <laughs> in the forest and nobody hears him. Does that mean he didn't applaud? <laughs> yeah, think about that when you're enjoying your marijuana cigarette. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, Sid. excited because the World Cup's coming up and David Beckham will be involved not much because he's injured all the time but he'll be there <laughs> and I like David Beckham because he sounds exactly like me <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy <laughs> you know I tell you what shut up missus I tell you what oh ear 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 no I tell you what they hate it when I'm on the show because the censor and all the people who see me as say that I cuss too much. <laughs> oh no! I do! I think they don't like me because I'm a, uh, um, a member of a 
club <laughs> uh, that loves America <laughs> called uh, Americans. Uh, <laughs> and they're not... I think that the FCC and the CBS executives are in some way connected to an organisation based in Tora Bora. <laughs> I don't want to spread any rumours, but they won't allow me to cuss anymore. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, everyone, thanks. <laughs> thanks for your support, but I, I have to get through the day with it. And cussing's my thing. <laughs> it's my thing. I love to cuss. It's what I do with them with my little bunny rabbit friends. <laughs> When we're out there, round about Easter time, we like to jump around the hills and go... Make a number. It's lovely here. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? Does that shock you? <laughs> Do I shock you with my dirty little man? <laughs> or do you like it? <laughs> you like it, don't you? <laughs> That's because I'm adorable, but untamable. <laughs> I'm sort of like a wild, um, cuddly toy. <laughs> I'm like a stuffy from hell. <laughs> That's right, bitch. <laughs> West Side. <laughs> I can't really do that either. I don't have any fingers. I was trying to throw gang signs there, but I can't do that. I don't, don't have any fingers. I lost them in a cussing accident. They were shot off by a member of the FCC. Take that. You naughty rabbit, I said. And as each finger was shot off by a member of the FCC, that's right, rabbits have fingers, as each one was shot off, I would go, ouch, darn, heck. <laughs> Until they got to the last one, and then I said, ah. What's that coming, I go? I was watching the show tonight and Brad, Bradley Whitford had a moustache and then that little cat had a moustache. And I thought, I've got a moustache, but it's white. <laughs> <laughs> so, nobody, so nobody knows. <laughs> it makes me sad. <laughs> nobody knows the trouble I'll go to to have my lovely moustache prepared and looking lovely. Because it, it's mixed in with all my other bits of fur. <laughs> and for the only way that my moustache would stand out is if I was to shave my entire body. <laughs> and then I'd just look like... I got a map. Rat. <laughs> Ferguson says, oh, he's hosting Shark Week. Oh, sharks are so dangerous. Not that dangerous. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a shark. A shark comes near me, I'll uh -oh. him up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Take that, George. Tootsie Frootsie. <laughs> I can say that because I live on dry land. <laughs> It's me! <coughs> Sorry. Hang on, I just have to get my chair that I stand on. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. It's me, Sid. <laughs> You're thinking, Sid, have you developed some sort of condition where you have to wear glasses? <laughs> well, yes and no. My eyesight is fine. The condition I have developed is I love Harry Potter. <laughs> I love 
of Harry Potter. You know, people say to me, Oi, look, there's a rabbit, quick! <laughs> Get him and we'll serve him up! <laughs> we'll eat him! And I think, oh yeah, you've come to the wrong place. Shazam! <laughs> now, cast a <laughs> spell on him! <laughs> and people say to me, you can't cuss and be a wizard. And I went, oh, it's all right, cuss and be a <laughs> rabbit then, is it? <laughs> Right, right. <coughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, because they're opening up this Harry Potter theme park in Florida, but I can't go. Aww. Oh. Aww. I can't go, though. Do you know why? Because I've got a date this weekend with, yeah, someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Who's a rabbit? <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> don't be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but don't <laughs> woo it, me. She's a <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> well, I've got a date with a <laughs> cartoon. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Anyone else smell chicken in here? <laughs> Harry Potter Wizardy World thing this weekend because I've got to take the kids out. I've got 450 of them. <laughs> so think about being a rabbit, you breed like a <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I cuss there? <laughs> well, sorry, let me apologise. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Sit out. I know there's always usually a cat at the end of the show, but it <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not really entirely true. I killed it. <laughs> I'm not proud of it, I just went nuts. I know a lot of people like cats, but obviously I'm not one of them. <laughs> I'm only kidding, the cat's fine. And by the way, it's only a drawing of a cat. <laughs> Whereas I'm real. <laughs> How's it feel now, people that can't sleep? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I'd just like to apologise for swearing earlier. I'd like to apologise, but I'm not going <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm a bit shy. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'm not shy at all. I'm a little bit shy sometimes when I meet strippers. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, put them on, put your clothes on. <laughs> but I'm. But I listen, I use my big ears to listen to make sure they're taking their clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was watching the World Cup today, and um, I'm listening to them trumpets. I'm, I said, oh, God, I hate them trumpets. <laughs> I know they're not called trumpets, they're called voo voo vulvas or something. <laughs> Is that what they're called? <laughs> hey, so I'll just check. I'll just go and Google it. Stay there. Google. <laughs> Google. Come on, come on. <laughs> Vuvuzela, there is it. By the way, Vuvuzela's the name one of them strippers that I'll pretend to be shy with. <laughs> oh, Vuvuzela, put your clothes on. <laughs> Here. Anyway, I'm watching the World Cup and I'm thinking, I, I hate them trumpets or them voo voo valias alias. Because uh, you think they're loud, but look at the size of my ears. <laughs> I mean, I mean, normal is loud to me anyway. So when you got them trumpets, <laughs> I've 
just learned a new thing I can do. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. Oh, sorry. Anyway, it shan't, it shan't uh, detract from my enjoyment of watching a goalless draw. <laughs> you wonder why Americans don't watch Sogo too? Why? Because nobody <laughs> scores in it. That's why. Right. <laughs> Americans like things where people score, <laughs> like football, basketball, the Sex and the City movie. <laughs> That's enough. Look, here's the main thing. If you can't be nice, then <laughs>
You probably don't want to have the flag in your hand. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you. Although, it, a lot of people say to me, Look, a rabbit! <laughs> a lot of people say to me, Do you celebrate the 4th of July, Sid? And I'm like, yeah, of course I do. Because I'm American. And people say, well, that doesn't sound like an American accent. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, what does an American accent sound like then? And they go, ooh, do you enjoy a gum? <laughs> I'm like, what'd you say? They go, do you enjoy gum? <laughs> <laughs> See, what I'm trying to say in this land of, you know, all sorts of diverse population and different ethnic groups and, let's be honest, species. <laughs> we don't all sound the same. We don't all look the same. We don't all cuss, but some of us do quite a lot. <laughs> Cousin. But what my point is that we you know in this holiday weekend we can all come together and celebrate the uh, ethnic diversity <laughs> and the differences and the similarities. The, the thing that makes us all together is that we're all Americans and we can all agree that there are certain things that are just rubbish. <laughs> like, hmm. Um, well, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something everybody agrees on, but there's nothing, you see? <laughs> That's why I live in America, because even if we disagree with each other, we don't need to oppress each other, you see? <laughs> and, if you, and if this is news to you, <laughs> then you're probably stealing this show off the internet in a foreign country. <laughs> I've been waiting for me to cuss because it's kind of my trademark, you know, like Justin Bieber's kind of gay look. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. When you, hold a, uh, when you hold an American flag in your hand, you don't necessarily have to cuss on TV. It's probably not a great idea, you know, especially if you don't actually have your official immigration papers done yet. <laughs> Mentioning no rabbits. <laughs> Me. <laughs> All right, well, have a happy and safe fourth, and remember this. Um, uh, <laughs> that little noise I made, remember that. <laughs> Apology <laughs> this evening. As, as many of you know, I'm going through a very messy divorce at the moment. <laughs> and my future ex-wife-to-be has been taping our telephone calls. <laughs> and apparently in one or two of them I lost my temper. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> revealed myself to be some kind of psychotic racist. <laughs> now, during my DUI incident last year, or maybe the year before, many people said, oh, come on, Sid isn't really, uh, aren't I, or, aren't I, doesn't, he isn't against Jewish people, he's just... <laughs> He was just, he was just drunk. <laughs> and I was, it's true. <laughs> but now, of course, my true self has been revealed and I can only apologise for getting caught. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, that's not me. That's Mel Gibson. <laughs> that's right. No, I'm, I love everyone and I'm... <laughs> yeah, that's right. See, <laughs> see what I did.
there. That was great, wasn't it? I pretended to be someone else. And then I pretended that I was Mel Gibson, but I'm not Mel Gibson. Do you know why? Because I'm not a lunatic, that's why. <laughs> And people sometimes say, wait a minute, you're a cussing rabbit. I say, yeah, that, that's a lot <laughs> saner than that bastard. <laughs> I mean, get on the internet and listen to that. That man needs, he doesn't need a doctor. He doesn't need a, you know what he needs? And he's a kick in the balls. <laughs> he's a <laughs> maniac. <laughs> of course, that's just my opinion. And... <laughs> And not necessarily the opinion of the CBS organisation. <laughs> or any of the opponent. CBS cares. Bright eyes. Baby. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. It's me. say to me quite often they say hey you sound a bit like English soccer sensation David <laughs> and I say what <laughs> they say you sound like English soccer sensation David Beckham <laughs> and I'm like well do I really <laughs> and then and then I say to them well what <laughs> the <laughs> no, no. Please don't applaud cussing or profane conversation on television. <laughs> Apparently, CBS frowns on cussing rabbits. <laughs> That's why I'm not going to be, and I'm sorry to have to tell you this, I will not be on CSI Miami this year. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> no, I won't. Because oh, I wanted... There was the plot of the new rabbit detective, Detective Hoppy Bun Bun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was going to be me and David <laughs> Caruso. <laughs> He's Detective Ginger Snaps, and I'm, and I'm Detective Hoppy Ban Ban. And he goes, whoa, and he takes his glasses off, and everybody goes, oh, he's a great actor. <laughs> and, I, and I hop around like this, ooh, ooh, I think there's been a murder, Detective Ginger. I think there's been a murder, and he goes, <laughs> he takes his glasses off. Anyway, that, it was going to be great, but CBS cut it out because they said that people didn't believe that a rabbit could be a detective. <laughs> and I'm like, really? But you believe uh, David Caruso can be a detective? <laughs> plus, plus, then they said to me, well, look, you know, rabbits aren't really, you know, that comfortable in the searing heat of a Miami summer. And I'm like, really? And white-skinned ginger men like David Caruso? But they're comfortable in the searing heat of a Miami summer? This is clearly some kind of <laughs> rabbit bias. There's some kind of rabbitism going on here. Anyway, I'm sorry, I've talked too long, I think. <laughs> yeah, just check the clock. Yeah, I have. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, the point is, I'm really excited, uh, but you can't see that because the camera cuts off about here. <laughs> Be very quiet, everyone. I'm very worried. <laughs> I've got a very, 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 very awful, <laughs> terrible studio audience. <laughs> We've got someone in here from Canada. <laughs> now, a lot of people say to me, hey, Sid, you must have been to Canada with your lovely white fur. You're probably, you're probably one of them ice truckers. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not an ice trucker. But I know a poem about one. 
She wanted to dare I implied that I was about to cuss. <laughs> Which I <laughs> was. <laughs> so anyway, we've got some Canadians in and they're very shy. <laughs> Very shy Canadians. Some Canadians are very cosmopolitan, like Canadians from Toronto. They're like, ooh, we're from Toronto. Ooh, ooh fabulous. Oh, we've got a really big building. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You should see, we've got a cheese shop and a big building. And, 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 and we all have hats. But, but then, then you get your shy Canadians, like ones from Edmonton. <laughs> They're so shy that when they go to clap, they just actually just stand there and poo their <laughs> pants. <laughs> and, here's, <laughs> and here's the thing. I'm thinking, well, why, why would you even come here? <laughs> Surely there must be other things to interest you in the temperate southern zones. <laughs> For example, the beach. <laughs> or, well, that's about it, really. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. I don't want you thinking I don't like Canadians because I do. I love them. One's from Toronto. <laughs> and I like Canadians from Vancouver. They're quite nice as well, because they go, ooh, we're from Vancouver. <laughs> and I like Canadians from Calgary, because they sound like, um, they're, <laughs> they sound very <really> nice. <laughs> and I actually like uh, most people from Edmonton, Canadians. What I'm trying to do is I'm singling out one person I don't... <laughs> There's one... I actually love all Canadians except one of them. <laughs> and the problem is... The problem is... He's here. <laughs> My nemesis. <laughs> What's your name? Andrew. Andrew, as I, as I suspected, <laughs> of Scottish descent. <laughs> anyway, so we'll probably make it up for our show, <laughs> or, or somebody will die. <laughs> Did you ever see that movie, Watership Down? <laughs> it was about rabbits, but it was terribly sad. <laughs> it, made, it made the life of a rabbit look <laughs> awful. <laughs> you know, we were all like rabbits were dying, rabbits were going into rehab for alcoholism. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen the film, I think that's in it. But here's the thing, it's not that bad being a rabbit. <laughs> Honestly. All right, it's quite bad. <laughs> well, you see, I'm quite, I'm quite far down the, the foot chain. Foot, foot chain. <laughs> It's funny, you, I'm down the food chain and that's funny. Well, let me just explain. Rabbits as a species are pretty far down the food chain. We could be eaten by dogs, uh, cats, um, chupacabras, and, and bears. We could be eaten by bears. Oh, grow up. Anyway, the thing is, that's rabbits as a species, but me personally, I'm <laughs> hard, me. <laughs> That's right. You're <laughs> I'll tell you. Don't, don't you <laughs> laugh at me. I, I tell you, you try and eat me. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. I'm a ninja. I do the Tang Soo Do Korean style kung fu and I'll rap at you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I got a bit carried away there. Because I'm, uh, you know, I'm passionate about my cause, which is, uh, which is rabbit, uh, 
freedom. <laughs> and I'd like you all to uh, look at your hearts. <laughs> And think, well, maybe we could do a little more for rabbits. For example, for example, um, you know, get them little guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see how far down the food chain we are. We'll... <laughs> when a dog comes at me, and I've got a gun. <laughs> of me because I believe in the oral tradition <laughs> hey, hey, wait wait shut up shut up <laughs> I believe in the oral tradition and if you know anything about women so do they <laughs> that's right I'm making it up <laughs> that's right I'm the only one <laughs> now, uh, let's just get through the business of the day. Uh, the soon, uh, the Scottish Conan Coyote bloke will be out and he'll be the usual wolf of our chicky monkey. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 guess, oh, oh, look at oh, great day for America. <laughs> all that. Yeah, but, you know, you've got to remember about him that he's, it's all a lie. <laughs> He's not really Scottish. <laughs> Actually, he's really a rabbit <laughs> who shaved his face <laughs> and, and got contact lenses. <laughs> and the other thing to remember is that he 
He doesn't really cuss in real life. <laughs> he, he's not really a big cusser, Craig Ferguson. He just cusses for TV reasons. <laughs> Unlike me, I love cussing. <laughs> like if... No, wait, is, have you clapped one more time? Come on. <laughs> Hey, oh, clap, he clap, he clap, clap. It's, it's not the price is right, all right? Shut up. 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 I've probably got on too long now, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That's all we got time for. Uh, the sh no show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the information about the vacuum cleaner with a suction. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not frightened because it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> I sometimes get frightened because it's Friday and I go, ooh. <laughs> I think to myself, ooh, it's Friday the 13th, ooh. <laughs> and then I think, oh, come on, grow up, Sid. <laughs> it's only a day, don't be such a <laughs> <laughs> frightened because I see these films, you know, the films are called Friday the 13th and they've got that scary person in it, who's it again, that Freddy Jason thing? <laughs> What's his name again? Freddy, what, Freddy Krueger? Yeah. So who's it? Yeah. He, and then I think to myself, wait a minute, he's just some <laughs> nerd. <laughs> like, ooh, I'm a dream demon. I'm like, oh yeah, well I'm a rabbit from North London. <laughs> And then, yeah, you frightened me, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Oh, now I'm frightened to go to sleep. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I tried to appear more brave than what I actually am. <laughs> but now I feel afraid. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> patronise me. Sorry, I got a bit of a frog in me throat there, cos... An actual frog, cos I live near a pond. <laughs> Over there. I didn't know I could do this with my arm, but I can! Look at that! Oh, yeah! Well, look at me! I'm a regular <laughs> Pete Townsend! Look at that! Whoa. Yeah! Anyway, um... So, here's the deal, it's Friday the 13th, but try not to be afraid. And remember, everyone, that you, you're safe as long as you're not awake. <laughs> or sleeping. <laughs> and if you are a teenager, and you feel like going camping next to a lake where last year on this very night some other sexy teenagers were killed by a maniac in the woods. Probably wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry to not be my usual jovial self this evening. <laughs> but I've come here to give a PBS announcement, PSA announcement. <laughs> I'm sorry, I made a mistake because I'm very high on drugs. <laughs> but it's all right because they're not my drugs. <laughs> I just found them in my purse. <laughs> Which, which makes them completely legal. <coughs> you see, apparently, you only possess something if you actually own it. So... <laughs> at least that's what some very high-paid Las Vegas lawyers are trying to <laughs> sell right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
anyway, here's the problem, everyone. It, I'm not very in a good mood because of the hurricane. <laughs> sad because of the hurricane because I don't know what to do in a hurricane because I, I've never been in a hurricane of all and when one comes I usually run into my little burrow. <laughs> but I, I don't have a burrow now because I've got this job in television so I started living in a condo. <laughs> I have a condo in St. Augustine, which is in Florida. <laughs> and, but that's not going to be affected by the hurricane, I don't think. I don't know. I'm feeling a bit concerned. <laughs> anyway, the upshot of all this is that CBS would like to announce that they uh, really don't give a <laughs> <laughs> but of course they do, yes, absolutely they do. Yeah, CBS cares, of course. <laughs> and they would just like you to make sure you're safe and, you know, if you're going outside in a hurricane, please, 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 don't wear a hat. <laughs> What to do? Sorry, my hi everybody. I'm sorry my wave is a little unwavy tonight. <laughs> but I I'm not normally left-handed, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, and uh, hello everyone. No, I know what you're thinking. Well, no, Craig, we've watched the Discovery Channel and crocodilios and little rabbits don't usually get along. <laughs> That's right, that's right, he's right! Ah, ah. <laughs> he, he's just kidding, because he knows if he tried to eat me, I'll f him up! <laughs> yeah. no. Uh, no, we're friends, we enjoy cuddling! That's right. Oh, well, hold on, I just. Oh, John, he's just getting his voice back. <laughs> what to do, everybody? Yeah, there, here I am. So, uh, here's the thing. A lot of people were saying to the Scottish Conan guy, Hey, we never see you two puppets at the same time. That's right. And I, and then, I'll, I'll let you talk for a bit. Okay, thanks. And then, well, the reason for that is that many people who work here are not trained. Puppeteers! <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and so, it, the fact you get any <laughs> puppets at all <laughs> is a miracle. I'm sorry we're so squished together, but apparently this is the only way that we could be seen in low-def television. <laughs> If you're trying to get someone to have sex with you and they're trying to keep a distance, you can say, but baby, they won't be able to see us in low-def television. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we've got to go because we've got a barbecue to go to. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of, well, it's kind of difficult to switch between an English helio accent and then some kind of strange crocodilio. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye, Wavy. Go goodbye, Wavy. <laughs> I'm sorry to harsh.
wash your buzz. I'm sorry that I've got some bad news. Oh, no. Well, here's what it is. Apparently, the CBS censors got in touch with the Scottish Conan guy today. And they're very upset at the amount of cussing and penis-related humour on this. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And they're particularly annoyed at me because I'm a rabbit who cusses, so I can't cuss anymore. <laughs> And Jeff Peterson's allowed to do that thing where he goes, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh God. you know, he's allowed to do it, but the Scottish guy's not allowed to do it because they said when you do it, Scottish guy, it looks like a masturbatory gesture. <laughs> coming up on Prime Time. <laughs> anyway, the upshot of all this, as you can probably tell, I'm like, I'm going to cuss as much as I want. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Because Hawaii, of course, is famous for rabbits. <laughs> it is! It is! Rabbits are. They've got rabbits in Hawaii! And the rabbits go like this! I tell you, if you was a rabbit, you would think that was really sexy. Anyway, I watch, and then I watch, because I've got a DVR, I watch Dancing with the Stars. And I think that show is <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's why. Go ahead and clap, but 15 million of watched it. I think that show is bollocks. You got people with that situation dancing around. I'm like, what the? What the? When the did he 
you become a star? <laughs> and then all them dads are, I'm like, what is, this is just like an evening with some <laughs> <laughs> And if I wanted that, I'd go to my family's house. <laughs> I'm saying is I have noticed in my life that I tend to not like what everyone else likes. For example, lots of people like dancing with the stars. I don't. <laughs> lots of people like Justin Bieber. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> now, the good news is that when a show is on this late at night, it doesn't really matter what I think. <laughs> but let me just say this. Our day will come. <laughs> Our day will come. Join me, people who don't like what everyone else likes, and we'll become the ones who get things made on TV for us. <laughs> like cussing with the rabbits. Now, now watch that. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. It's so hot here. Oh, oh, oh. How hot is it? I'll tell you how hot it is. Oh. Yeah, that's how hot it is. Oh, it's, I tell you, it's bad for me because, of course, as you pr probably tell, I'm a rabbit. <laughs> and I don't have sweat glands. <laughs> At least I don't think I do. <laughs> Perhaps somebody could Wikipedia that. <laughs> but, <clears throat> hang on, we're just going to find out if I have sweat glands or not. <laughs> if I... If I do, then that's all right. If I don't, if I don't have sweat glands, then I think I might have peed myself. <laughs> well, did you find out then? <laughs> all right, I'm sorry, he's got AT&T. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you might have to beep that out as well. <laughs> yeah, you can beep that out. <laughs> but, uh, most rabbits have no sweat glands. <coughs> See, you learned something as well. Didn't you? <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, fast and efficient value for money internet service provider. <laughs> I got myself a trace. It's all right if I say. I tell you, you say anything against a sponsor, they'll have your nuts on a plate. <laughs> anyway, it's very hot here in LA, and I'm not used to that because I'm used to lovely countryside. <laughs> but it's so hot, I do it. Oh, it, it oh, yeah. <laughs> If only I had a team of comedy writers <laughs> that could write me a selection of how hot is it, Sid jokes. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm just one rabbit. <laughs> one rabbit raging against the machine. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sid, it's always you. Why, why can't we have other puppets? What about a French pig or something like that? <laughs> well, here's the reason why I'm so popular here. It's because I'm very easy to light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that and my sparkling <laughs> personality. <laughs> I've had a terrible week. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hate when you do that. I hate it. I hate it when you go, oh, 
you know what I, did, what I want to do when I say humans? I want to say, oh, they look so cute with their pink skin and their giant fat horses. Yeah, you see how it feels? Exactly. I feel patronised because I'm cute. Like, for example, Valerie Bertinelli. <laughs> Stay with me. I'll, I'll tell you why. Because Valerie Pertinelli is very cute. <laughs> but you wouldn't walk up to Valerie Pertinelli and go, oh. <laughs> and why? Because she'd hit you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You didn't know. Yeah. Valerie Pertinelli is <laughs> mental. <laughs> she is. She's like some kind of drunk ninja. <laughs> I used to date her, and by date I mean I saw her once. That's dating as far as Hollywood chat sites go. You look on them gossip sites and they say people have dated people and they haven't dated them at all. Which is very disappointing sometimes. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, it shows the usual tonight, you know, crap, 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 skeleton, crap, 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 a bit more of the skeleton, crap, 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 and then at the end, you can relax and assure and certain knowledge that the evening will continue on CBS with <laughs> ShamWow information. <laughs> makes me hate you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm very excited to be here at the show tonight. Why, I hear you ask. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> because I'm a very big fan of Trace Atkins. <laughs> I love... There's nothing I love more than kick-ass country music. <laughs> I love me a big tall man in a black hat. <laughs> now, some people think that because I'm a little bunny rabbit, I would like a you know, big kick house man in a black hat. <laughs> and, like, I do, just as long as I'm not <laughs> rabbit hunting. <laughs> but, here's the thing. I, I enjoy country music because it doesn't have subtext. <laughs> Well, you see, too many songs today have subtext. You know, like, I am a walrus, that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> but they're not really a walrus, it's a subtext. But in a country song, if someone sings, I am the walrus, they are a walrus. <laughs> and that's what makes country music great. You know what you're going to... Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> around with allegory or metaphor <laughs> and all them <laughs> annoying things. <laughs> They're just saying stuff in song form. <laughs> it's kind of like having a conversation with someone that you like, except they've got a guitar and a lot more money than you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm very... Oh, that's a joke, I'm not I'm very poor. Oh, poor CBS pay me in vegetables. <laughs> and I don't you <laughs> applaud that? That's miserable, they should. I, once I form a union of other TV rabbits. <laughs> There's not that many of us yet. I think there's me and, uh, that's it, really. I mean, there's the cartoon rabbits, but they're all, you know, not real. Oh, I'm real, I'm a real rabbit. Some people think, no, no, you're just a puppet. And I think, you're a puppet. I'm not a puppet. I am, I am me. I am rabbit. Hear me. Wave, wave, 
wave, you can wave. That shit. Yeah. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who's that cute little bunny? Where's the cute little bunny? <laughs> this is this is Bridget. Is that your name, Bridget? Um, uh, Bridger. Bridger. Oh, Lordy, do oh, pardon me. <laughs> Bridger started working at the show, and it's my job to be to the one that shows him around and shows him where everything is, right, Bridget? Y yes. Where, where are you from, Bridget? Uh, from Utah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever worked with a rabbit before? No, 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 no. Well, let me tell you, it's not easy. <laughs> a lot of people... Here, can you do me a favour? Can you stroke my ears? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's lovely, thanks. Yeah, what lovely so hands you've got. Thank you. Thank you. Did you used to be a longshoreman? <laughs> no, I've never worked in that industry. No. What, what industry have you worked in before now, then? I have a lot of food service. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. What, what type then? What, uh, bananas? Uh, <laughs> a, a lot of uh, Thai food. Thai food? It's thai food, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, you're the face I want to see when I go to a Thai restaurant. Hey, <laughs> 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 that's <laughs> riot, that is. Well, here is your Thai food brought by Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Is it? I, I, I felt like dressing up for the show. <laughs> I want you to tell me something, honestly. Not you. Is he looking at my arse? <laughs> Do you like what you see, Bridget? <laughs> it's, uh, whatever, you know. You like that, don't you? <laughs> Let's take a break. When we come back, um, it'll be great. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, woo, Sid, your ears are really <laughs> big tonight. <laughs> well, yes. They are, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but when, when rabbits are excited, their ears get very erect. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, sorry. Uh, the moment's gone. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> here, don't. Shh, quiet. Shush. Don't applaud. You'll wake the <laughs> sensor. <laughs> I'm very excited because... Uh, the reason why I'm excited is because I'm quite excited in a sort of sexual way. Because in lesbian row in the audience, <laughs> there's a dude. <laughs> in lesbian row. Look, look, look. Yeah. And for some reason that kind of appeals to my naughty nature. And then... And then I'll, I'll, I'm sort of checking and I think, actually, that some of the girls in Lesbian Row aren't lesbians. <laughs> they are just bi-curious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So what they do is that they come here all kind of, you know, from their humble day, 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 day. <laughs> Drum lives, and they come here, they sit in lesbian row, and they become sexual. <laughs> you, oh, yeah. And if you know anything about <laughs> rabbits, <laughs> you know that rabbits like. Well, people do say, woo, they're, they're, they're like rabbits. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> There's one thing we rabbits like, it's <laughs> And we don't, 
right, there's not a lot of foreplay when you're a rabbit. <laughs> well, you know, we don't have hands, we've just got paws. So it's just kind of like, ooh, does that feel good? Right, let's get going. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, apparently I'm in trouble with the sensor already. <laughs> I better go and see if we have to uh, fire me. Uh, fire. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> who is not here right now. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to issue an apology because last night we had to cut a big thing out of the monologue because he said something very rude about one of the sponsors of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because they never cut it out when he cusses. I mean, you can say <laughs> bollocks. <laughs> you can say you can cuss your head off. And sometimes I do. Yeah, you can cuss you, but the minute you say something less than flattering about a product that may or may not be advertised on the CBS network. Oh boy, he got in a lot of trouble. In fact, he won't be here tonight. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> ridiculous. He causes it. <laughs> I mean, you're in the studio audience. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I mean, if it were, it was the most pointless oh I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, oh, he won't be here. But then who's that bloke that <laughs> looks like him? <laughs> sad tale is if you are in a business and you want to advertise your products on the great Tiffany CBS network rest assured that you will be given lots of lovely treatment and we will fire people who don't say nice things about your stuff <laughs> <laughs> CBS cares <laughs> That's not actually true. <laughs> I've got a bit of a sore throat tonight. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <coughs> That's better. <laughs> oh, no! Ooh. Oh, no, an ow! Don't eat me, ow! Ooh. Oh, no! The ow possessed! <laughs> does in no way condone the headbutting of owls. <laughs> Anyone who headbutts an owl surely is a member of Al-Qaeda. <laughs> I'm sorry if I cried, but that owl really upset me. <laughs> I mean, he was <laughs> possessed, you see him? His head was spinning around, spinning around. It was like, it was like the exorcist, but actually frightening. Do you remember that movie, The Exorcist? That scared the out of me, Remember it? I'm sorry, I'm 
just I'm excited because Harry Potter opens today and I love Harry Potter and you know why? why? That's a rhetorical question! <laughs> You actually know? <laughs> I wasn't asking you. I was asking you like, oh, do you know what? No, why? Tell us, Mr. Rabbit. I'm excited about Harry Potter, do you know why? Because, because uh, I'm 14, that's why. <laughs> that's right, I'm a 14 year old rabbit. <laughs> Which means in rabbit years, I mean I'm 14 in human years, in rabbit years I'm 300. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I have to take a break. When we come back, from America. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. That's a <laughs> lie. <laughs> but it's not. Every Thanksgiving, I usually have people round to my house the night before and we celebrate by dancing. <laughs> Ding dong. Who's out of the door? Is it? My friend Secretariat. <laughs> he usually comes round, and uh, his wife, Mrs. Secretariat. <laughs> and we, we, the thing is about horses and rabbits, we like to eat the same things: uh, grass. <laughs> That's it, really. <laughs> grass. Don't eat much else, you know, which is difficult when you go out for dinner. Sometimes I go out for dinner with a beautiful young actress. <laughs> Sometimes they'll say things like, ooh, let's have the steak, and I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. They're like, oh, are you? And I said, yeah, but I've got a big <laughs> <laughs> size of my ears. <laughs> That's a clue. When you see a man with big ears, that means he's got a big wang. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Well, wait a minute. As people get older, very old men have very big ears. That's because they've got very big wangs. <laughs> you're welcome, senior citizens. <laughs> Sometimes they go, hey Sid, why so sad? <laughs> and I'm like, I, I didn't want to say this, but I'm very sad because Oprah is retiring. <laughs> and it really, well, I feel completely <laughs> about it. <laughs> when I heard Oprah was retiring, I was like, no way. <laughs> Right, applaud and 
laugh at my pain. <laughs> See, the thing is, I've grown up watching Oprah on television because I'm only two. <laughs> Which in rapid years makes me 53. <laughs> and rabbits age very quickly. Do you know why? Because everything, and I mean everything, eats <laughs> rabbits. <laughs> There is not a sharp-toothed creature on this planet that doesn't look at me and thinks, Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Oh, I'll have some of that with a bit of gravy. When people look at you and they start imagining you covered in gravy, you're either a rabbit or a German prostitute. Or in my case, both. Sprigs the Deutsch. <laughs> right, well, anyway, the great news is that the show tonight is awesome. I'm only kidding, it's the usual.